It was a demanding win for the Indiana Hoosiers on a cold Friday afternoon, but a dominating performance from the starting pitcher Joey Donato ensured that the Hoosiers got back to their winning ways. He's a very mature kid, and you know, and he was he was nibbling a little bit. But we have a lot of confidence in him that if he even walks somebody, there's a good chance he is going to pick them off. But yeah, I thought he settled in nicely and flirted with that no hitter through. Five, 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 yeah, yeah. So that was good. That was fun. Donato, who recorded his fifth win of the season in Friday's matchup, went seven innings, five and two thirds of those with no hits. Yet Tracy Smith said he has yet to see the best of his starting pitcher. Outside that first inning, um, you know, I don't, I, you know, it's funny. I don't think he was particularly sharp because I still evaluate pitchers on how many three ball counts and how many times they're, you know, getting to those counts. But he threw certainly um, a quality, quality start. But I told our pitching coach Ty Neal, I said I still don't think he was really sharp. And then, you know, so. But when the defense played well behind him, that was that was a good thing. We made a couple of nice plays in right field, and, you know, picking picking him up too. But yeah, he was um, certainly good enough to win. But I still think he could be better. Well, I would agree with my coach on that. I mean, I think I threw 105 pitches through seven innings. Mm -hmm. um, in the beginning, I, I don't know. It was hard to get a feel for the ball just because it was so cold. Um, but I think throughout the game, I kind of got more of a feel for it, getting my pitches over for strikes and. Uh, Kind of just not, not focusing on throwing it past them, but just throwing the ball for a strike and seeing what the defense can do. True freshman Evan Bell pitched two scoreless innings to close out the game. The team returns to Kauffman Field Saturday afternoon, then goes off to Indianapolis Sunday to finish the series at Butler. Reporting from Kauffman Field, I'm Michael Fellish, IU Sportcom.